Alah, apa ni? PKPB lagi. SPM pula ditangguhkan. Jenuh lah nak bayar yuran tuisyen. Pernah dengar tentang tuisyen percuma? Kami di Akademi Youtuber menyediakan tuisyen online secara percuma kepada anda semua. Ada prasekolah, sekolah rendah, sekolah menengah, STPM juga untuk matrikulasi. Percuma je! Jom layari laman sesawang www.academyyoutuber.com Hello everyone. Hello. Uh, right. Good evening to all the students and our teachers here. Uh, so uh, I I will be I'm the moderator for the day for the lesson today. Uh, let me introduce myself first. I'm uh, Madam Emily John. Okay. And at the moment we are going to go. We are live on Teacher Manji uh, channel. Uh, and uh, we will be having our class with teacher Manjit today, okay? She's our presenter of the day. Uh, before we start, let us start with the prayers. Can I uh, request teacher Farida to start with the uh, prayer, please? Okay, uh, Teacher Farida is, uh, oh, is hanging, I think. I think uh, we are done, all right? Thank you, Teacher Farida. All right, uh, so uh, before we start, let me introduce our speaker for the day, which is Teacher Manji. She is from Hello, uh, S uh, SMK, uh, sorry, ACS IPO, all right? Methodist ACS IPO and uh, SMK Methodist ACS IPO Perak. Okay, she will be talking about, all right, our English SPM 2021 uh, format for paper two, guided writing, part two. Okay, part two, guided writing, all right. So, she will be sharing her knowledge and experience about uh, guided writing. So, uh, please pay attention. This is very useful. This is actually a continuation of our previous lessons. Uh, by teacher Farida, myself and teacher Heidi. We have shared with you before this the lessons on uh, paper two writing. Okay, we have covered paper uh, part one, uh, we have covered part three. We might be doing something else uh, later on but uh, at the moment we are trying to cover your paper uh, two writing first. So today teacher Manjit is going to talk about part two which is the guided writing part. All right. So, uh, uh, without further ado, I will, oh, yes, before that, today we are going to start something called uh, Record Credit, Record Credit IU for Students, All right? So, you can collect credit points when you join the class, uh, you, will, you can, uh, we will give you a code, okay? Uh, there will be, uh, there will be four, four codes. Okay, four codes, four numbers. So we will give you the code throughout the class at different times. So you need to pay attention. Okay, there will be four codes. So each time we will give you one number. So you need to take note of the number and then you have to use that numbers, that code to, we will give you the link for your, to do the record for Record Credit Plaja Academy YouTuber. Where when you record your points in that system, you can get rewards. Okay, it's like a reward system, uh, system ganjaran. So you will get rewards from the uh, from whatever points you have collected. Then later you can get some rewards for for your participation. All right. It's like a family. It's like a reward. Uh, what do you call that? Reward chart in the class. Yeah, it's like the yeah. charter, you know, ganjaran and all that. Like your star system in your class and all that. Some of the teachers. So there will be four codes, and I think uh, we will be giving the first code now, which is uh, six. Six. 
The first code is the number 6. Alright, so please remember, remember take note of the number. You have to take note of the number. So the first number is 6. Okay. Alright, now I pass it on to teacher Manjit so she can start the lesson. Teacher Manjit, on to okay, you. Okay, thank you. Thank you everyone. Welcome. Just hold on. Yeah, Madam Manjit is sharing our uh, uh, sharing her slides. Yeah, Teacher Manjit is uh, uh, Teacher Manjit. Okay, you just click on share. Yeah, wait, wait. I went to the PowerPoint now. Can I uh, wait, wait? I think I have to come back. You have to second. share first. You have uh, to share first. Yeah, that's why I forgot. Oh. Okay, okay, sharing. Yes. Share screen. Okay, then I can share my PowerPoint now. Yeah, you straight away uh, play the PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay. And then, can I play now? Yes, No, no, yes. You, you, you have not shared yet, Teacher Manjit. Oh, you have not shared yet. Huh? It's not mm -hmm. shared yet. You can still see uh, our faces. You have to yeah, click yeah, on yeah, share. Yeah, now I will share. Okay. okay yeah, while we you... see, Emily, uh, Ng said something, Emily. Oh yes, uh, Ern has already got forty-two credit points. I'm well done. Well okay, can done, you see me say. now? Can okay, can you yeah. see me now? Yeah, can you okay. click on uh, click play? Wow. Yes, all right, done. Okay, done. Okay, can I yeah, start? Can you, you can, yes, please. Okay, thank you, uh, Chegu Emily and uh, Chegu Farida and also Chegu Haiti. Welcome, students and teachers and also parents. Well. Uh, I'm Manji from ACS Ipo, and this is my beautiful school. And this is a special tuition that has been carried on from last year until now. And it is a joint venture with EDD Malaysia, Club Guru Malaysia, and also with Academy YouTube. Okay, Academy U. Okay, we have more than uh, 10,000 videos for primary and secondary school students and also for teachers to share. All right, Collexi Video PDTC. All right, and this uh, we have our lower secondary school teachers, that is Madam Gan, myself, Chegu Aisha, and also Chegu Amadi Filza. Okay, and then this is the playlist for the lower secondary school. You can scan this playlist and you can get all the videos that you want. You can see any kind of video for any topics from, from one, two, from five, and even from six. All right, okay, these are the teachers for uh, yes. Shamanji, uh, can you uh, click on the height? Go back okay. to your stream yard and uh, uh, click on the height button. One minute. Uh. Okay, yeah, now okay. you can see? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So here is the other playlist for the upper secondary English uh, subjects that is from four and from five. So you, this is the playlist that you can scan and you can see any kind of videos that you want to see, maybe for guided writing, descriptive writing, whatever writing, emails and so on. Okay, we have our beautiful teachers here uh, handling SPN and also from four. Okay, so you have Chegu Heidi, you have Chegu Emily, Chegu Giri, Chegu Aisha, all right, Chegu Farida, Chegu Emily John, Chegu Gan, and also a few other teachers. All right. Okay, look here. Every Wednesday without fail, we have classes for you, special classes for you. All right, you don't need to go to tuition. You can spend your time here. Okay, so these are the teachers, and the, our teacher, our group name is the Jolly Group. Ah, you look here. Farida is from where? Sekolah Menengah Teknik Taputra Penang. Emily is from SMK Mak Mandin, Pulau Pinang, and myself from ACS Ipo. And not forgetting our beautiful and young teacher, that is Chegu Heidi from SMK Telang Usan, Sarawak. Okay, so far this is Farida's channel. All right, and this you can always subscribe to her channel, and she also having a special blog spot. All right, and this is Emily's channel. Please do subscribe their channels when you like their channels. Okay, and this is myself. Welcome to my channel. I have more than 73 videos and interesting and uh, short, meaningful videos. You can look into my videos. And this is Heidi having lively videos too. And uh, you can come to her channel too. Okay, this is our special group. Uh, you can join this group. All are welcome to join this group. 
you can ask anything related only to English subject. Okay, so students and teachers join this group. So you're welcome. If you want to join this group, please do scan. And our group name is called Jolly Group. All right. Okay, let's continue with the lesson. Okay, are you ready, students? Good. SPM examination format beginning 2021. Okay, English CEFR aligned with triple one nine. Today I'm going to focus on writing paper two. Okay, just a little Manji. of reflection. Yes. Teacher Manji, uh, Nor said you are beautiful. Who said? Nor, Nor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that at the moment. Okay, thank you. Good. You are also beautiful. Keep it up. Okay, from paper one, you can see that is very important. That is your objective for paper one by Ibilanga Swalam. So I'm sure this time your teachers have already explained to you just a bit of reflection. Paper one, 40 marks. And then your paper two writing. Most of it, uh, most of us are focusing on paper two for writing. Okay, paper bagian satu, bagian dua, and also bagian tiga. Then come to ujian lisan bertutu, your speaking activities, and also your ujian lisan mendengar. So don't worry. Uh, even though you are, you are at home, yes? We have also done one on two classes on speaking, if not mistaken. Yes, huh? yes, two classes on speaking. Yes, we did speaking. Uh, yes, very true. Okay, Puan Farida. And then don't worry, even though you are staying at home, we have the free tuition. Please take the initiative to attend. And secondly, take the interest to read and write and understand your questions. Okay, let's continue. So far, so good? So far, good. so good. Uh, no okay. problem. Okay, good. Okay, let's come here. The four component papers of the SPM English exam. The first one is reading and the use of English, one hour, 30 minutes. The questions don't look easy, eh? so you must really read and understand between the lines. Then comes here the writing, which is one hour, 30 minutes, and you have three sections to do and a lot to write. So be prepared, students, whether you're in Form 4, whether you're in Form 5, or even in Form 3, no harm, you can get ready. Then comes to the speaking, estimated time that is 30 minutes and listening that is 40 minutes. Just imagine, 40 minutes is a lot of time. So right? that they have to really manage their time well. If not, they will, they will, might not have enough time to write for the last part, you know, which is longer. Yes, that's right. Very important. You start practicing now itself, right? Start practicing, okay? All right. Uh, part one. Uh, I there's a question i think this student is in primary school i think uh -huh. do you uh, uh do you have standard three class english <laughs> yeah yeah uh, maybe now, uh, yes. from, uh, just now was a class at three o'clock if i'm not mistaken uh, i think they, i think i think the student uh got the wrong this is for secondary school but we are doing uh, but we have Emily. primary school Emily, it's interesting to have standard three students in our class. <laughs> yeah, maybe somebody, somebody who knows teacher Manjid. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> good, good, good. Welcome to the class. No harm listening. You understand? We have okay, live right. for the country. No problem. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, okay. Part one that I did last time, remember? Short communicative message. Okay, this is email. I've already explained to you. You want to get further information, please look into the first uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation I did for this year, okay, for the email. Huh? Okay, let's continue with part two that I'm focusing on this. Okay, am I going very fast? No, huh? Okay, no, this no. is guided writing. When you mean, what you understand by the word guided? Guided will show there are points already given to you. So when points already given to you, you will be able to know what to do. All right, so you cannot run away. You cannot say, teacher, I do not know because you, this word guided means helping you to write the essay, okay? So the length, you must write how many words? 125 to 150 words. Oh, it's so much to write, okay? And then the stimulus is the text given, okay? Remember, students, there will be three bullet points or three points given to you. All these three bullet points must be addressed or used in your answer. You can write three to four paragraphs to three to five paragraphs in your essay because you are going to do what? Huh? When how you are just going to write the essay? How? You are going to elaborate. Okay? Just like how you are going to eat the pizza. 
Are you going to eat the pizza that is very well decorated or you're going to eat the plain pizza? Think about it, all right? So you will remember which pizza do you want to buy. The same thing goes to our essay over here. Which essay you have to write? You have to support your answers. You must write answers. Uh, what kind of answers? You need to elaborate. The point is already given. You give examples. And then you explain. And then when you are explaining, what kind of sentences are you going to use? Simple, compound, and also complex sentences. Okay? And then you don't forget what else you need to use. You need to use linkers or LC. Remember, I have taught you all about LC. What is LC? I'm sure you know already. Logical connectors. Later, I will explain to you. All right? So don't worry. We will go slow and steady. All right? You can do it, students. Okay? Then you must also, when you give supporting details, you must have your reasons over here. Everything got reason. Why are you eating? Hmm. Because you are hungry, you want to grow. Yes or no? So that you have energy to carry all things. So that is why you need to eat. So the same thing, why are you here listening? So that you are able to get some message or even information. All right? So we have a reason. Always reason yourself. Why, why, why? Then you must remember the WH questions. Remember or not? I'm sure you remember this. In primary, I've learned this. In secondary, lower secondary, I've already learned this. Okay. So you must include all these things. Okay. Try to guess how many marks? 20 marks. So much. 20 marks for this part. Oh, my God. So are you going to write or not? Yes, you must write. Okay. All right. This is the part three. Part 3, Extended Writing. If I'm not mistaken, Chegu Hedi have already done with you. Chegu Farida also did and also Chegu Emily John. Okay, Extended Writing. You will have to write how many words? 200 to 250 words. So many words to write. So many paragraphs. Okay, pick only one question out of the four questions given. Writing class. Uh, teacher, teacher Manji, uh, mm. I think uh, in the question itself, they will only give three questions. Mm, good. They will, uh, uh, but we, they, uh, they will learn four types, but yes. in the exam, they will only be given three choices. Okay. So they, so choose, uh, they choose one out of the three given. So they will refer uh, to the uh, textbook. Lah. Referring to the textbook, correct, correct. Whatever so, that will be questioned, yes, will be based from their textbooks, from four right, and from five. Okay, so it will be based from the textbook. So from here, you can see, pick only one question. Can be article, can be review, can be report, and also can be story. So Okay, uh, just to remind you all, sorry to interrupt, the second yes. code is nine. Eh? The second code is nine, all right? Uh, just now, the first code was given, 6. So, this is the second code, 9. Please take okay. note for the record credit. Okay, Teacher Con okay. Um, uh, Manjit, please continue. All right. Okay, students. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. remember the code. Nah? You, if you want the reward. Okay. Okay. So, we are continuing with the article, review, report, and also the story. So, actually, how many marks? 20 marks. So, many marks, isn't it? So, writing is important or not? Yes, writing is important. You must really take the initiative to read write okay you must also read understand and so write okay that is how they assess you so how many words over for extended writing 200 to 250 words okay all right let's continue okay so this is the competency criteria so candidates need to have competency in the following writing skills if i'm not mistaken chegu hedi also explained this last week if i'm not mistaken huh? All right, before the holidays that day. Okay, so you must have what? Competency in the following skill that is application, creation, analysis, language skill, evaluation, and also the value. Okay, the writing, in case you don't understand, you don't get worried or stance, you ask your class teachers or your subject teachers, they will also guide you. All right, okay, the writing paper tests candidates on different types of writing. I mentioned you just now. Email, part one, part two, guided writing, and just now the third screen, one, the uh, PowerPoint that I just showed to you, extended writing. So different style of writing and different approach of writing too, different way of writing too. So candidates are expected to demonstrate their competency as stated above to these writing skills in all three parts of the writing test. Don't ever 
pass up an MP paper, take some initiative, attempt to write something. Understand, okay? All right, now. What is an excellent proposition or essay? I'm sure all of you want to score good marks, correct or not? So you need to have some method, what to write, what to do, how to do. So you'll be able to do here. First of all, you need to do what? Read the instructions and answer the questions. Sometimes you get, oh my God, I don't understand the instructions. But don't worry, you can do it. Keep on reading the first time, you don't understand. Read the second time, you don't understand. Read the third time. And read the whole paper. Spend some time to digest the instruction. When I mean digest here means faham. You need to understand the question itself. Okay, So the instructions actually will guide you. Then, don't forget to organize your ideas and also you must develop it with supporting facts and examples. Okay, report, automatically you must have facts, all right? Unless it is a story, you write something more on imaginative, descriptive or even narrative. But when it comes to real good writing, you must know what type of writing you need to do. What is the input here, the information? And don't forget to use good vocabulary. Okay, try to use good words. Uh, don't use simple, simple words. You must have good vocabulary so that it is your writing is enriched. All right? So when the teacher or the examiner reads your essay, they say, oh, this child is capable. There's credibility in her or his writing. So this is what you need to do. So read a lot. Whenever you're reading, keep a diary, write the difficult words, use the dictionary. These are all this all will help you. And don't forget to use the accurate grammar. Grammar is so important. If you look into your textbook, there's always grammar exercises for you. Subject word agreement, gerunds, okay, present tense, past tense, all right, adverbs of frequency, prepositions, articles, and so on. So these are all very, very important. And don't forget the usage of very important is what? Phrasal verbs. Okay, all these are important. That is why when your teachers are teaching in the class, pay attention. Okay, and then... Teacher Manjit, uh, we yes. are already going to reach halfway of the class, Teacher Manjit. Okay. Are Just uh, to, uh, no, not yet, not yet. Just not to yet. remind you the okay. time. Then end your essay with good or suitable conclusion, remark, or even write your opinion. Always end with something good so that the person who reads, they will understand. Okay, next steps to writing a good essay. Okay, what you need to do just now before you start writing what? Aha, uh -huh. just now I mentioned to you, self-brainstorm. You have to do the brainstorming yourself, not your teachers, not your friends. So when you get the exam paper, write whatever comes into your mind, write in the piece of paper or even you can write in the question paper. You can create some bubbles over there, okay? So mind mapping is so important. Then you need to, after mind mapping, you select and organize accordingly. That is what, remember, before, during and also after. So this is in a correct system way, correct way. Yeah? And then substance. What is substance, teacher? This is a new word. Yes, it is a new word. But don't worry, I will help you. Can anyone try to guess what is substance? Come on, students, right? If you know anything about substance. Yes, please try. Yes, no harm trying, please, students. Come on. Anyone? Any teachers also can write? No harm. I will guide, to you, guide you later on. All right. Okay, never mind. Let me help you over here. First, ah, brainstorm is to suggest a lot of ideas very quickly before considering some of them more carefully. When brainstorming can be advantages, can be disadvantages, can be any kind of idea. Sometimes you will even write Malay words there or Chinese words there. But later you will try to think. Okay, so this is called brainstorming. All right, I'm sure your class teachers will write on the board something. Okay, come on, give me your ideas. Come on, come on, come on. You, 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 you. I'll teach you with them. Then you need to do the second part is elaborate. Uh -huh. Explain in detail with evidence or even examples. Why in evidence and details? Because it depends on the exam question. What type of question you are going to answer over here? Okay, the meaning of substance is relevant ideas or points that matter. Not all ideas can be relevant, isn't it? So you must know whether this idea is suitable for this essay or not. Okay, so that it means by relevant 
ideas or points that matter. Okay, so brainstorming. All right, do you want to take a short break or what, Emily? Uh, yeah, uh, no, we still have time. We still have time. Carry on. Okay, brainstorming. Uh. So in brainstorming activity, put your thoughts into writing, come up with ideas about the topic and jot them down. Okay, this is what I mean by the word brainstorming. Put your thoughts, whatever ideas coming, put, 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 write, write, write in a piece of paper. That's said during exam, put up your hand and take an extra piece of paper to write. Okay, section one, part one, part two, part three, write. Okay, this way you will be safe. You have done something. Preparation, early preparation, so that easy what you will write. Okay, then you need to list words or phrases that you think need to be included. What kind of words can be used over here? Phrases, okay, words. Then you also need to write down the first word that come to mind. Which is the first word? Okay, lah. you said uh, one morning, last week. Or you can say every day. People say this. The newspaper article mention it depends on your way of writing. Write down the first words that come to mind. Do not overthink and you'll be surprised at the number of words that you get. Why? When you practice this, just as I always tell my students and motivate them, please do write, do write, do write. When you're writing and writing, automatically during the exam day, you will be able to write because your hand, your mind will be working. Ideas will be flowing. This is how you score. Okay. Okay, uh, Teacher Manjit, we uh, 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 yeah, we will go on for a break now. Okay, no problem. Continue, please. COVID sembilan belas semakin menular. Sekolah-sekolah terpaksa ditutup. Bagaimana dengan nasib pendidikan anak-anak kita? Sebagai ibu bapa. Kita pastinya mahukan yang terbaik untuk anak-anak. Tetapi, mengapa bebankan diri dengan kelas tuition yang berbayar sedangkan ada yang percuma? Akademi Youtuber Malaysia Inisiatif dari EDD dan Klub Guru Malaysia membawakan anak anda kelas dalam talian secara percuma secara langsung oleh guru-guru dari seluruh negara. Maklumat lanjut, layari www.academyyoutuber.com Okay. Ah, uh, Cikgu Emily, can I continue? Yes, please go, carry on. Okay, okay. Then do not try to organize your ideas yet. Rearrange them later. Okay, don't worry. I will show to you later on. Ah, okay. Select and organize. So here you need to select effective ideas and group related ideas together. You need to use a mind map if it works better for you. Not everybody can use mind map. Some people, because they are reading always, they'll be able to write straight away. Okay. Decide on the sequence of the ideas. Just now I told you before during and after okay or sequence the years okay so these are the years or what happens before all right then the ideas is in a well planned i essays are arranged in a clear and logical order the ideas must be well planned don't jumble them up so that's why you need to organize your work okay when it comes to substance you need to consider how the ideas can be supported or even elaborated Consider if the essay has enough substance. Ah, keep up the main points and keep it relevant to the question. Always keep the main points and keep it relevant. That is why we have limited number of words. You must always remember how many words you need to use. Okay, part two, indirectly. Guided writing consists of a guided writing with a given stimulus text. Ah, stimulus text means the text, the book points are given. Candidate students are given three bullet points which must be addressed in the answer. So three bullet points, all the points you need to use compulsory. Okay. The task is to write an essay for or against an idea, a plan or even arrangement. Depends on what kind of question you can get. So here, students, you must write your essay in about 125 to 150 words. Okay, if you come 151, 55, it's okay. Don't go and write so much because you've got another question to do. So don't spend so much of time in the second part, okay? Divide your time. 
and it is recommended that candidates must spend 20 to 25 minutes on this part of the test. So five minutes you use for your mind mapping, ideas and so on. 20 minutes or 18 minutes you start writing. So when you start writing, before you end, you must also check your spelling, check your uh, whatever necessary, your grammar and so on, all right? Okay, the layout of the essay should consist of three to five paragraphs. So you can write three paragraphs, four or even five paragraphs. That is why they give you three bullet points, the introduction you can create from the instructions and so give your own explanation. And then the conclusion, you can sum up everything, all right? So in conclusion, in a nutshell, to sum up, okay, this is these are the words that you'll be using for this guided writing. Okay, the suggested parts of the guided writing essay in the SPM writing test are as follows. All right, okay, now an essay outline should consist of the following. What you need to know, and remember over here first, the introduction must be there, just like your body. Okay, the head, your contents, part one, part two, part three, and then the conclusion are your feet. Okay, so the introduction, huh? the introduction must be good, must be um. Okay, the body content, remember. Point one, point two, point three given. This is the body content that you need to elaborate with examples and if possible, try to have some facts. Then do not forget a very suitable conclusion. I'm repeating this twice so that you will take the initiative to remember these students. Okay, now this is will be your exam paper. Okay, you will get something like this. Okay, below is a suggested example of the layout of the guided writing in the SPM writing test. Okay, introduction, body, paragraphs, point one, point two, point three. That's why I put a big okay, mark there. You can put it together or you can put it separate. It's all up to you. Okay, and the conclusion. Okay, introduce the topic and your opinion in paragraph one. I agree, I don't agree. I personally believe. Okay, share the way you write and the way you think okay then you also need to use note one to support your opinion note two to support your opinion and also note three or four your own idea in support or in contrast contrast means there's a you're comparing two things so what are teacher the words Manjit, teacher mm -hmm. Manjit, uh, yes. just uh, to clarify uh, the, uh, because the other day, uh, I think teacher Heidi also mentioned this. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, because paragraphing will come under uh, organization, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, organization, uh, one of the criteria that they will be tested on. So, some students who cannot write five paragraphs. Uh, write don't, wo uh, don't worry, but there yeah. must be some kind of paragraphing. Because yeah. that will affect your uh, organization marks. So that is why. If, uh, okay, sorry. Continue. Yes, continue, Emily. No, I just uh, because I think some of my our students are quite weak. When they mm -hmm. see you have to write five paragraphs, they might get scared. Oh yeah, don't worry. No, that's why I mentioned just now earlier. Three to five paragraphs. Three uh, to five. So, uh, uh, so they can uh, they they as long as there is some paragraphing done, uh, and the they points will, used and the uh, points, the points uh, uh, that they give in the bullets, uh, then that will be good. Okay, uh, yeah, please carry on, Teacher Manji. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Emily. You must use all the three points. Very, very important, okay? Then you restate your opinion using different words and add a comment, okay? Don't worry, students. You can do it, okay? Now, here, step-by-step -step guide to tackling guided writing effectively. First, read and understand the instructions. Faham arahan, okay? Faham kehendak soalan and also the stimulus, the given guided words for you. Then you can use a highlighter or even underline the bullet points when you underline the bullet points automatically you'll be thinking 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 and don't worry the exam they won't give something very very difficult something you have already learned from the textbook and something it will be something around. related correct yes. it will be something yes. related to their textbook or their experience or something related to school situation. life and all that yes current situations issues, correct. okay 
And then another thing, please pay attention when your teachers are teaching in the class because this is how they you will know. That's why you will be able to do. Okay, then don't forget, you also need to identify the keywords, ah, phrases or tasks. What are the keywords over here? This will help you to focus on the important aspects of your essay. So you are automatically you know, oh, these are the keywords. I need to focus on these things. Then only you can do. Understand what the essay should be about. Don't go and write something else. Faham kehendak sohalan. Okay, you must yes. understand. Pay attention. Then only you can write. All right. Okay. Now, respond to the plan two is respond to the questions. Use all the bullet points given to guide you in writing your answer. Quickly jot down all the ideas you have. Ah, ask yourself. W H question. What happened? Where? When? Who? How? So this will guide you in any kind of essay. This will always guide you. Okay, the WH questions, huh? and to develop your points and also to elaborate. When you said elaborate, means to explain and also to justify on the ideas or points that you have made. Okay, that's why you need to give elaboration and examples. Give reasons for your point of view. Okay, now later I will ask you some questions. Huh? Pre present, organize your paragraphs done three to five. Don't go and write one, two paragraph, please, boys and girls. You are already grown up. Try to remember three paragraphs compulsory or four, five. Okay. Do use suitable linkers. Okay. Uh, any one of you can type any kind of linkers. Please, I'll give you one minute. Type with some linkers that you know. Come on, students. Yeah, students, please type in the comment box what are the linkers that we can use uh, to help us in our writing. We have mentioned before in previous classes or so. Come on, let's yeah. see whether you remember or not. Yes. Just type yes. the linkers in the comment box. Yes. What are Any the linkers? Linkers that you know. Linkers okay. that you know. Uh, there are some coming out. Uh, teacher, uh, yes. How, however. Mm -hmm. Okay. Loga Saravanan says, however. Okay. Uh, Sarumaji yes, says, because. Mm -hmm. Any more? Uh, besides before? that, Hara says besides that, mm. and I I think I also see one more. Uh, moreover, mm -hmm. okay, and then we have then, uh, mm -hmm. and then also uh, furthermore, uh, I think mm. I think you got the idea already. Okay, good. So you know already, very good. Okay, we are using one. This uh, one day, sorry. Uh, one of the students put one day. One day is not actually a uh, uh, link. Uh, no, it's a time transition word. Okay, yes. it's meant. Uh, it's not so much of a uh, uh, logical connector. Okay, but you uh, can use that for your essay. You yeah? can. But you can, can definitely. You, you can definitely use, but you you is, uh, is not a linker. Okay. All right, uh, teacher uh, Loka okay. Saruna gave a long list. <laughs> yeah, he's a good student. <laughs> uh, okay, must be. welcome to the class. Okay, all right. He's, all right, then use a variety of vocabulary. Use short and long sentences. Just now I mentioned to you. So you can use simple, compound, complex sentences. Okay, write your essay in the appropriate or a suitable style. Okay, then ensure. Okay, one minute. Ah. Huh? Okay, ensure that the words count is 125 to 150 words. All right. Okay, continue the next one. Okay, these are the linkers just now I say. And how you need to start your essay in paragraph one. This you can see in your textbook. Okay, taken from your textbook. Okay, I told you the textbook is very, very suitable. Uh, this, this is the okay. form five. This is the form five textbook. Uh, download. Okay. Uh, like download. for form four, form four, you will be referring to your full blast textbook. Okay, introduce the topic of your essay so the writer knows what they're going to read about and give your opinion. So how can you start? Many people say, some people believe, young people say, other people think, older people believe, or you can say nowadays. Okay, I think I believe, or in my opinion, it's my opinion that. So these are the way you can, uh, method that you can, or these are the phrases, or these are the words that you can use when you're going to do your introduction for your guided writing. Remember this, okay? This is something like a secret recipe, okay? Then the next one has you develop in paragraph two to paragraph four. What are the words that you can use? You need to expand on your ideas, support them with examples. So how do you support? 
the main reason or the advantage of or the disadvantage okay it depends all the way you write okay and then the main reason for advantage the most important reason the most important advantage is that another reason another advantage or another thing i said furthermore moreover in addition firstly first of all to start with secondly and then the comparison however on the other hand and then to do the conclusion you can also say what lastly or even finally but there are some other words that you can also use so how you want to end your essay restating or even summarizing your opinion in my opinion as far as i am concerned you see the words they are using in my opinion as far as i am concerned or you can even say all in all or you can say to sum up in short on the whole another word very common in conclusion another word in a nutshell so depends on what way you want to write but better for you to practice these words okay these are all good phrases to show your writing is good all right and there is points given okay let's continue the next one okay this is the uh, language bank okay Introduce, uh, introducing supporting ideas how are you going to introduce supporting ideas you can use the word firstly secondly don't go and mention the word thirdly fourthly fifthly no okay <laughs> ah so when i put a stroke there it indicates what choose only one lah. don't choose all understand or oh, finally or oh, another word you can say in the first place moreover furthermore in addition introducing a contrasting idea you comparing two things then it is contrasting however on the other hand use this words no need to have bombastic words sometimes simple meaningful english is the best english okay then conclusion all in all to sum up on the whole and in conclusion okay this is a little style of my pocket huh? pocket diary that this you can write in, in a piece of paper Okay, in this little top paper over here, you can keep it so that later when you are going for your exam, you can just refer to this. What kind of words, what kind of LC you need to use, linkers you need to use, and so on. This is to help the students who are a bit weak in their writing. Okay, this is to help our students who are weak in their writing so that they will know that they are supposed to use these words or phrases. All right, now, huh? okay, now to them, now going to play the Teacher hmm. Manjit, I have to interrupt you for a minute. Uh, let hmm. me announce the third code. Uh, oh, okay. The third code, we are not going to share it in the chat. Eh? The third code is uh, six. Okay? The third code is six. Uh, we already and given the you... first half. Uh, we, we, we already given the first two codes. Uh, we are not going to share it in the chat. We are just going to say it verbally. So pay attention. This is the third code. The third code is six. Okay. okay listen the first carefully. one is six, nine, six. Okay. Yeah. Students, All six, right. nine, six. And this is Teacher. to get your, not your certificate, but to get your reward. Okay. Continue. Okay. Now the example. Okay. Listen here. There's a special essay for you. The media publishes many details of sports, personalities, private lives. This will be your exam question sometimes, okay? This is a bit difficult, but don't worry. Listen here. Okay, this is an example of a essay, okay? The media publishes many details of sports, personalities, private lives, okay? So, how will you get media? You should know. Newspapers, magazines, can be even internet, okay? Online, WhatsApp, Telegram, and so on. Facebook. Publishes many details of sports. When you talk about publishers, you will always get the idea is what? Newspapers, magazines, okay? Details of sports, personalities, okay? Who are the people here for sports and then the personalities? The keywords is personalities. So you will get here the idea of people who are well-known or famous in sports, various kinds. And then what did you mean by the word private lives? To know about their movement, okay? Just like how you say about the Bollywood, the Hollywood, and then the people who are good in sports and so on. Okay, so clear so far? Emily, do you want to add anything? Clear. Everything is perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so readers have a right to know these things or not? Do readers have a right to know these things or not? So there's a question mark. So do you think the readers need to know? Or no need? If you say yes, you must give yes. your reason. And if you say no, you must give no. your reasons. 
So, write about three points, the right to privacy. Do they need to have their privacy? Everybody wants privacy, isn't it? PNC, private and confidential for documents. But here, we want to show some kind of privacy. All right? So, we need privacy. Everybody wants privacy. Okay. Then their family and friends. Do you think they want to share who are their family and friends? Ah. And then give your own idea. All right? Okay. Give your own idea. Okay, now, sports and the media. All right, okay, now, sports and the media. The media is often, this is the title, huh? the media is often full of stories about footballers and other sports stars. Okay, readers are told how much money they earn and even details of their love lives. True or not? Yes? True or not, students? Sports celebrities should be allowed their personal lives private. They must let it to be private. Okay, huh? one minute. Huh? Wait, this thing is coming yeah, here. Right? That, uh, okay, huh? the thing is coming here. Okay, so in yeah. the first place, sports personalities have as much right to privacy as anyone else. Just like you need privacy, they also need privacy. If journalists follow ordinary people around taking photographs about them and reporting embarrassing facts about their everyday lives, they will be stopped. Okay, so you remember, remember Lady Diana, paparazzi were following them and what happened, all right? Okay, moreover, it is not fair that sports stars and families should have and friends should have to put up with so much attention. So it can damage friendship and destroy their relationships. So this is considered to be a very good essay, understand or not? But if you cannot write like that, don't worry, you will write from your own experience. This is just an example of sports and the media. Okay, this essay is actually taken from, from your textbook, okay, from this textbook too. Okay, okay, let me share with you the page. Maybe you can see. Yeah, the media is sort of full of stories. It is from page 41, all right, from this textbook and the use of from page 41. So you can see that everything is taken from your textbook to help you. So this is the way you need to write, all right, students. How many more minutes, Farida? Emily, okay, shall I continue? Okay, however, I also believe that sports celebrities have a responsibility to set a good yes, example to their young kids. Okay, how many another, more minutes? Another 15 uh, minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay, okay, then just, just nice then. Okay, now, however, I also believe that sports celebrities have a responsibility to set a good example to their young fans, okay? If they take drugs or break the law, for instance, then readers should be told. All in all, sports stars have enough, but... Uh, wait, 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 this is something, wait, huh? All right, okay, wait, wait, wait. Ah, yeah. Okay, wait one minute, because the thing is blocking. All in all, sports stars have enough pressure on them, and when they are playing and competing in public, okay, they shouldn't have to put up with it in their private lives as well. So this is what people are writing about sports people, all right? About the media and the, what? Can anyone try? The media and what? Try, try. The media yeah. and the sports, okay? Media and sports, all right? So don't worry. I know it is a bit difficult, this topic, but you will be able to do it because you've got sports fans you can mention. Okay, here. All right, the media is often full of stories about footballers and other sports stars. Okay, maybe uh, Emily, you can read slowly. Try to read. Which one? From the first paragraph? The first, yes, the first paragraph. The media is often full of stories about footballers and other sports stars. <laughs> Readers are told how much money they earn and even details of their love lives. I think this is wrong. Sports celebrities should be allowed to keep their personal lives private. Okay. All right. Okay, Farida. Can you try the second part? Which one? Which paragraph? In the second first paragraph. Second, second paragraph. Okay, in the first place, sports personalities have as much right to privacy as anyone else. If journalists followed ordinary people around, taking photographs of them and reporting embarrassing facts about their everyday lives, they would be stopped. They would be stopped. Okay, Chegu Hedi, are you there? Maybe you can read the third paragraph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, okay uh, you read the third. Uh, yes. Moreover, 
it is not fair that sports stars, families and friends should have to put out with so much attention. It can damage friendships and destroy relationships. Okay, good here. We let's compare. Huh? However, I also believe that sports celebrities have a responsibility to set a good example to their young fans. If they take drugs or break the law, for instance, then readers should be told. Correct or not? Yes. All right. All in all, this is the conclusion. Sum up. Sports stars have enough pressure on them when they are playing and competing in public. They shouldn't have to put up with it and their private lives as well. So the way he ends, the writer ends very well. You understand? So this is how students, you can write. Okay, you see all the paragraphs, the words are given, the ideas are given, and you see the linkers are also used. I just highlighted a few linkers for you. Okay, you can add good other linkers if you want. All right, clear so far, students? Clear, everyone? Yes. Yeah, teacher, okay. uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so far, no questions and all that. Okay. All right, let's go to the second question, students. Before you, I give you the answer, I will ask you some questions and you have to write down. Okay, come on, students. Okay, this is a question. This is your real exam paper question. This is example. You look over there, guided writing. You must answer this question. Write your answer in 125 to 150 words in an appropriate style so you must remember what kind of style whether it is argumentative or what you must remember that question two part two your classmates so your keyword is classmate has been discussing the types of sports they enjoy what kind of sports they enjoy who are they your classmates so you must mention some sports that they enjoy so your teacher has asked you to write an essay about the benefits of sports so the word here is benefits so benefits is what automatically something that is good kebaikan madam uh, close close that uh, pop up there yeah i'm trying to close just now so came yes, out yes, yes, yes. oh oh my god what happened <laughs> close 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 just go back to your powerpoint Okay, okay, leave it. Okay, I remove for all. Share again, share again. I have Am I there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. not your, your, no, no, your PowerPoint is not up. You, you are ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I, sh I have to share my slide again. No, 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 just go, go. Just put it uh, full, full. This one. Okay. Go to the slide, go to the okay. slide. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, now, okay? Yes, yes, Korean. Okay. So in okay now your classes classmates have been discussing the type of sports you enjoy. So you understood the sports. Who are your friends discussing? Your teacher has asked you to write and say about the benefits. So benefits, you know already advantages of doing sports. Okay, kebaikan. Okay, bukan keburukan. Nah. So in your essay, you should write about how sports reduces sedentary lifestyle oh my god reduces apa itu maksud reduces you'll be thinking so there's another keyword sedentary what is sedentary you'll be thinking don't worry continue reading lifestyle so maybe slow huh? sedentary lifestyle okay sedentary lifestyle maybe slow movement not active not energetic Okay, then develops good motor skills. Okay, remember when you are in standard one, standard two, your teachers are teaching hold the ball. Okay, run into the hoop and so on. So you do that. You understand or not? So this will develop. Never mind, never mind. Leave it that one. Okay, develops good motor. Develops good motor skills. Just when you are primary school, your teacher hold you, ask you to hold the pen and pencil to write, to draw. So this is also handling good motor skill and cultivates a sense of pride. You need to cultivate a sense of pride. So now write your essay using all the notes and giving reasons for your points of view. Okay, student, one minute. Just write whatever you think about sports. Come on. So how uh, the question is, you should write about how sports reduces sedentary lifestyle. Develops uh, good motor good skills motor skill. and cultivates a science. sense of pride. Yes, come on, students, write something, whatever you know about sports. Yes. Come on, just write just anything. Just one minute, write something because we can Yeah, you're brainstorming. I want uh, some brainstorming activity for you. Come on, students, you can do it. I think some, I think some students have put something. Yeah, uh, can we? Heidi, uh, maybe uh, yeah. Yeah. Heidi is highlighting. Thank you, okay, Heidi. Okay, no problem. Yeah, come on. Haras is saying gaming. Yeah, and then good. I think Haras also said something else earlier. Esports. Okay. So far, that's the two comments we got. So maybe for Haras is 
he likes esports and gaming like we yeah. spoke about in previous lesson about online you know esports gaming and yeah. all that when we invited baharudin to come okay there's another comment by nor sports makers feel happy through the day okay good all right good 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 very good so everybody needs to do some kind of sports all the time huh? okay, okay there's okay, one more comment kind of by riz dalina sports keep us healthy mm -hmm. all okay. right good any other comment uh no that's all so far but okay, good comments uh good ideas okay good thank you very much emily shall i continue yeah okay so this is the essay okay, um, okay. Yeah. we have to announce the last code uh, okay. uh we are not we are not going to give you the previous numbers eh? uh because uh, you are supposed to have listened from the beginning so we are not going to repeat the previous numbers Okay, so the last code or the last number for your uh, record are you uh, credit are you plagiar is uh, pay attention student is two. Okay, the last code or the fourth code is two. Okay, two. All right. Okay, teacher Manjit, please continue. Okay, so this is the answer for the essay just now. Huh? Okay, students who participate in sports from a young age reap many benefits. Okay, there are many benefits reap. Furthermore, sports can give one a great start in life. One only needs to consider the rise of obesity due to a sedentary lifestyle among children to understand the importance of a healthy lifestyle. Research has linked diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, and coronary disease to a sedentary lifestyle. So automatically, you can use this word, okay? Use this word, reduce, in case they don't do exercise, okay? Not very active, okay? Participating in sports will give students the opportunity to be active. Yes, you get involved in sports, you are very active, energetic, okay? Lively. Students can be fit and trained. They can also develop good muscle tone. Okay, you must have good muscle tone. Huh? Sports also help students to develop good motor skills and coordination. So these are the words that we, they gave just now. We are using back. Okay, moreover, by kicking or even catching the ball, swinging a bat and shooting ball to a hoop, one can easily become more active and graceful. True or not? They have done this a lot. Okay, so we should know this. Huh? But indeed, students who participate in sports will develop a sense of pride in their achievements. Yes, even the sports, we are happy. Okay, there is a pride. Okay, they do not have to win competitions to feel a sense of accomplishment. No need to win. Taking part is good enough. Always I encourage you to take part, take part, take part. By completing and participating, a sporting event itself will be such a confidence booster okay this will be a good booster for you hence students should definitely be encouraged to take up in sports all right Manji, can you uh, move the one at the side it's blocking the yeah that one i do not know i try to block just now so the thing went on oh, no you have to close your telegram and off the notification it's okay uh, yeah, just uh, just remove it just click on the x yeah, click the x. Time, okay uh, uh, yeah, just click on the x don't click on the okay. whole thing <laughs> uh, yeah Hence, students should definitely be encouraged to take up in sports. As you participate in sports activities, you will be sweating. True or not? Yes, even the housework you are doing, you will be sweating. These, in turn, will encourage your heart to pump faster. That's why we need our heart to pump. This will ensure you will have a healthy heart. See how the writer is writing. And then the writer is using linkers too. Can you find any other linkers that I didn't highlight? Can anyone find? Maybe I did not highlight. Loka Saravanan gave a, a very good comment. Sports uh -huh. are a crucial part of a student's growth and development. Yes. They help in the development of mental health and physical fitness of the body. Yes, very good, yes, Loka. Very good. That's the way, Loka. That's the way to write. Loka and Haras earlier, Haras also gave, develops good motor skills with locomotion and coordination. Very good words. We okay, can improve good. our motor skills so that we can easily be healthy and stay energized all uh, all the time. 
You see, they all can write already. You see, students, with this type of topic, you are able to write. So it shows that you will be able to score. You understand or not? So you can do it. All right? Just you need guidance. You need to read a lot and start practicing your writing. Okay? All right? So I think there's a lot of over here. Uh, what is the time, Emily? Sorry, uh, so one minute more. One minute more. Okay. So, okay. So far, so good. Huh? Okay. So no problem. Okay. I now. think just nice. Okay, any questions, students? Do you have any questions to ask? Are you clear with my explanation? Yeah, I can. Yeah, time, to time to ask questions over here, students. Any questions that you like to ask? Okay, the questions on this essay can be on computers, can be on smartphones, even can be on COVID-19. Depends on your textbook questions. On the yeah, topic. the topics, the topics ah. that we have is on family. Like form yeah. five, we have on family issues. Then we have on technology about computers and yes. online shopping and gaming. And then we also have topics like sports, traveling. So actually, there are quite a number of interesting topics in our textbook, form four mm. and form five. So yes. students, uh, just follow your teachers in the class. The textbooks will be your guide. Yeah, and then when you're free, when you have nothing to do, read, browse through the books, read something, jot down some notes, okay? And you can do it, okay? All right? Okay, students, I hope all of you are very clear with my explanation. Okay, thank you for watching. And this is my channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe so that you can see my videos. And I have good videos to, for you to see, yeah? to enjoy and to relax and also to listen and also to enrich your vocabulary. All right? And uh, thank you, everyone. And God bless. Take care. Stay at home. Okay? Uh, we bless. will be giving the link for the EC jail. Is the link up? Uh, can uh, we will be putting you, giving you the link for the ECG? Uh, thank you very much, Teacher Manjit. All right, okay. uh, that was a very interesting lesson. Okay, we can stop sharing now. Stop sharing. Yeah, I'm looking if, at the uh, register. Uh, 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 so you have to go to the share button. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, so all right, done already, Teacher Manjit. Done already. Farida is done for you. So can I see you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now you can I'm see stop us. sharing, stop sharing. You already stopped sharing, right? I have removed. Yeah, yeah, you already stopped okay. sharing. Teacher Manjit, can you see us? Yeah, it's just no, like I'm back here. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Okay, now the link right. for the ED day is already up there. So, students, please remember you need to uh, fill up the ED day, uh, CJ, uh, mind the form to get your CJ, but you need to use uh, a reminder your email. Uh, e -day -day email eh? and then the code access is also uh, given there in the chat now the uh, for this is for your cj the the numbers that we gave you earlier is for your record uh, credit are you for the reward system okay uh, the link for the record credit is also given in the chat okay the record credit plaza academy youtuber you go to that uh, with the code that you have were given just now so you i think you have to follow the instructions on that uh follow the instructions at that website at that link okay so all, all right. the best in that i hope you get some nice rewards so uh for the class today we had a very interesting class a lot of guidance a lot of tips okay a lot of helpful uh, uh ideas for us to improve on our writing so thank you again teacher manjit that was a very uh a fruitful and interesting lesson and i think we have covered most of the things uh about uh almost everything that is you are you need for your writing paper we have already touched in our online classes teacher heidi teacher farida myself and teacher manjit we have yes. tried our best to help you and to share with you what you need to do better in your writing lessons. So I hope that you have found our classes beneficial. Don't forget to subscribe to Teacher Manjit's channel. We are on her channel now, okay, as a, uh, as a sign of gratitude. Just uh, support her and also support all of us. Okay, you can go to the links to subscribe to our channel as well. So, uh, thank you so much for that, okay? Uh, and we hope that whatever we shared with you will be very helpful for you because this is all very ex uh, exposing you to the new format, okay? You must remember you will be sitting for a new format for writing this year. You are the first batch. 
the students who are going to sit for the exam this year is the first batch. You are the pioneer. So all the best. Uh, we hope that you have benefited from our lessons. We will be coming back uh, after the school holidays. For the next two weeks, we will be on school break. So uh, I think we won't be having, uh, I, I'm not sure, we, uh, I don't think we will be having lessons then. But uh, we will be having some other sessions uh, which we will update you uh, in, our, in our group chat. or in, in our chat and all that. Okay, so please uh, stay tuned, as they say. <laughs> all right, <laughs> teachers, anything else you would like to add? Teacher yes. Heidi? Or Sorry. Teacher Farida, yes? Uh, like uh, about the reward system, right? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, teacher, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher Farida? Yes. Yeah, we, we can hear you. Okay, uh, students, if you want to start... Um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you can start collecting your credits and claim your gifts. Nah? There will be some gifts given. And if you want to know more about this, you can go to www.academyyoutuber.com. Alright? So, you have uh, more, what do you call that, details on this in our site. Yeah, Emily? Yeah. Yeah, okay, teacher Heidi is, uh, teacher Heidi is, when missing suddenly. All right, teacher Heidi is there. Teacher Heidi, would you like to say something? Yes, teacher Heidi. Yeah, teacher Heidi, would you like to say something? Teacher Heidi, yes. It's a bit laggy. Yeah, teacher uh, Heidi is uh, mute. Mute, mute. Teacher Heidi. You are mute, you are mute, your sound. Okay, all right, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Now just to wish all those to, who will be celebrating Gawai, Selamat Hari Gawai. All right, yes, my place yes, is Sarawak, next they are week. celebrating Gawai. So who knows, there's Sarawak in here. So just want mm -hmm. to wish those celebrating uh, Selamat Hari Gawai. Lah. Ah, okay, yeah, today, today is Hari Sunday. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, correct, correct. Right? Yeah, so what okay. do we show? Happy, 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 happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And to the teachers. Definitely. Yeah. Happy holidays. Okay. okay, so All we right. will end Thank our you, summit everyone. now. Bye, Candy. Bye, everyone. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Dibawakan kepada anda oleh Academy Youtuber